Hello everyone, welcome back to 2236 AD. Let's go ahead and continue. Yatsuba! Let's go home together. Go by yourself. I figured out that you live in the opposite direction the other day. Come on. After school, I decide to lie and wait for her. Lying in wait for a female student around the entrance foyer. To hell with caring about how skeevy this looks, I guess. I think that she should show up sooner or later, but... Oh. She sees me get up and shoots me look. Hey. She buzzed on right past me. Uh, wait, hey, come on, don't ignore me. Can I head back with you today? She turns away, not uttering a word. Still ignoring me? Expression like, come on. Okay, it's okay if I tag along. I start making brisk strides. I can smell the sweet aroma that trails her. Vanilla, same scent as the girl from yesterday. That aside, she sure is a quiet one. And I wish she'd talk a little. Also, she seems to be heading somewhere in a completely different direction from my house. Ah, this silence is killing me. Hey, um, Shion? You, uh, ever been to Akakura? Shakes her head. I live in Akakura, by the way. Hmm, okay, face. Shion, where do you live? This is the way to Sekigawa, right? Nah, it's head. <laughs> I said I'd tag along, but this is the wrong way for me. Small smile. Oh, and you're smiling, Shion. Blank stare. I mean, for whatever reason, you... How do I put it? Don't seem like someone who emotes much. Like, you know... You always have your gate closed, right? Why? I don't know. Oh, she talked. You don't know? I can't open my gate anymore. Details? Like before, I can't open it. Since when? Quite recently. I see. Some sort of a uh, disease? I don't know. Then what do you do in school? Isn't class tough? If isn't tough, space is out. Perhaps he had no intention of taking them in the first place? Smiles. You can't do that, you know. Smiles. 
Shion, are you capable of studying? Space is out. You can't, can you? Smiles. I knew she couldn't. Can you even get by like that? Teach me. Huh? Uh, what'd you just say? Help me study. Huh? Studying, huh? Plays up sympathy. Well, I'm pretty smart, so I technically could help her study. Okay, fine, but don't you have any other friends to help you study? Stares blankly. Nope. In other words, if I don't help you study via verbal communication, you're going to get dumber and dumber? That's quite an angle. She murmurs something strange. <laughs> Do, by chance, find that amusing? Smiles. I see. I wondered how this would turn out at first, but it looks like I've established communication. In the middle of walking with her, I suddenly stop. She walks only a little bit ahead of me before noticing and turning around. Looks like it's about time for me to retrace my steps and head home the other way. When I try to talk to her verbally, I have to project in a louder voice since I'm a little further away from her now. Hmm? Tomorrow, at the school. Same time. Same place. Let's go to the community center library. I'll help you with your studying. That good? Pleased. Okay, tomorrow's me is today's Albert Einstein. When I try speaking verbally, it seems rather embarrassing the words spill out. She smiles. When I try talking verbally, my words are hard to hear. But my mind quivers along with my eardrums. This person, Chion, talking to her isn't so bad, I think. Stop in front of the hotel on the way back. I wonder if she's here today, too. Today is much colder than yesterday. I had put away the boards that blocked out the room in the corner, and they haven't left us that, 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 that spot. It's all the first thing that serves as a reminder that what I remember happening yesterday wasn't a lie. Hey, uh. You came again. Her sudden smile comes to me via telepathy. Her actual expression, however, remains just as doll-like as ever. I knew it wasn't a dream. <laughs> I came alright. Amazing! You came again! It's not that amazing. Really? Mm -mm. It's amazing, really amazing. I'm getting overwhelmed by her and her cheerfulness, something I didn't expect. Hey, um, Haru? Since the other one is Shion, I'll just call her Haru. Yes? Um,. By the way, what might your name be? Name's Yatsuba. Um, Yatsuba. What is it? 
Looking at her innocent face fills my heart with a certain something. So cute. Huh? And yet, so sad. Yatsipa? Uh, d just wait there for a moment. I'll be right back. Where are you going? You don't have to rush, you know. Times like this, you say hurry and come back, okay? Um... It's okay. Hurry up and come back, okay? <laughs> no problem. I hurry back home. I search my room for my calendar clock combo and then head for the kitchen. Hey, Masco, hurry up and turn on. What is it, sir? What kind of dish is simple enough for me to make? I'll try looking one up. I'll try changing the search criteria. Shut up, you idiot! I end up making two on the giddy. Here. I'm out of breath due to all the running I did. For me? Yep. Haru's mind racing in bewilderment transmits to me. She's in a state of excitement. She seems to be looking for what she should be saying now. Right, I can't read any unformatted data. However, it happened is due to someone being doing them something for them. Or something simplistic like that isn't something that has to really be spelled out. Wow. I'm so happy. Yatsuba. <laughs> Thank you, Yatsuba. I think these are mostly new feelings. I want to see this girl smile. I pray that I would see her do these out of character things so. So very much. I had been hoping she would do what she would the whole time. The Haru Shiun of the abandoned house and the Haru Shiun at school. Haru and Shiun. Both of them are Haru Shiun. The only who knows that is me. Sunday, my life changed. It really had, though. I found a screwdriver, went in an abandoned house, and met a young, doll-like girl. I still haven't even wrapped my head around this situation. The only thing I can say is I want to keep Haru a secret. I don't want to tell anyone else. Fortunately, seeing how it's early in the new semester, I don't have any acquaintances in class. Worries of having my mind forcibly examined are, well, probably unneeded. Now that I think about it, maybe I should have said, thank goodness that Chiraishi can't use telepathy. The closest one to him, me is him, after all. Hey, Masako. Yes? Are there any human-like dolls? That's right. For example, when you say you're a doll, it refers to a person with extremely attractive general features. No, no, not like that, dummy. Oh, my apologies. Oh, that reminds me. I have search results for the dishes you requested earlier. Shut up, you idiot! To be continued.
don't have to think about the difficult things in my stead. However, you can afford to think. There are a ton of things we are far better off staying in blissful ignorance about. Despite that, if knowing is an irreplaceable bliss, then that might be good in and of itself. Point of the matter is, I'm no longer able to consider myself a smart woman. I've learned many an instance where ignorance is a bliss, but my desire to learn is yet to expire, nevertheless. Even to learn about her. Her. Him. My older sister. My mom. Telepathy. And the here I find myself now. As a scientist, I never wanted to know. However, as a scientist, I can never stop. I'm disappointed, to say the least. Maybe I could only link to this place via science. As a person. As a woman. Could you liken it to being an alcoholic, I wonder? Because the word indulgence is quite fitting. Even if I learn and learn, I still want to learn everything else. I never want to forget what I've learned. I might get my ear chewed off if I tell this to hard-working adults, but... I don't think there's a huge difference between adults who don't work hard and idle young people. That is my theory. The junk that I collected for fun may look like gems from another person's point of view. It really has me stimmied. Does the lion bow to the cat? C.S. Who is it? It's Hina Senpai. Mm, you're sharp as a tag. I mean, we're the only two in this room, aren't we? Huh? Huh? Look right. Look left. Uh, look right again. Raise your hand. And swing it down. Please stop making fun of me. Senpai tries to contain her devious laughter, as always. You never end up holding it in anyway, so you should just go ahead and laugh for crying out loud. No way, no how. Why not? Because I won't. It's a matter of virtue. Ah, I see. Well, as long as he and Senpai keeps on being as pretty as she is, I suppose we can just let the matter drop. With that said, there's here's today's experiment. Woo. Woo. Senpai is in especially high spirits today, so I get Moscow's out trying to hide things up. The slide project's on the screen. Although it would clearly be much easier to just link out for these kind of explanations, Senpai remains firm in not attempting to use telepathy at all during club hours. Today, we'll be experimenting with turning a bronze coin into a silver coin. Huh? Huh? Written on the slide are the words, Shoot for State Alchemist. I don't think there's any need to repeat myself, but Senpai is very much well. Need I even continue? How are we supposed to do that? This is the outline. We're going to eat this copper coin face with copper oxide. And then we'll have that coin that sparkles silver. That's how we'll go about today's experiment. Why are we doing this, might I ask? It's kind of like alchemy, and it might be fun. She's supposed to be smart enough to be able to receive grants from the country's Ministry of Education 
culture, sports, science, and technology. And of course, she's supposedly well versed in the leading edge of chemistry know how. So, why are we doing this lame ass experiment like in grade school science class? This is the process of the experiment. 1. Remove any smudges or foreign matter from the coin by dipping it in soy sauce and make sure it's nice and shiny. 2. Amply heat up the coin on the hot plate. 3. Once the coin starts to change colors, douse it with, o with the O2 spray stolen from the science room. You know that stealing is bad, right? Uh, I have a quick question, Ima-san. What is it, Ai-chan? Copper 2 oxide is a black colored non-metal and doesn't gloss. So, wouldn't it be impossible to make the silver colored coin you're shooting for? She has a point. Ai, are you saying you can see the results before the experiment has even started? Uh, to say you can see the results is rather haughty and in poor taste, but I do think I can perform a prediction just based off of this. Here. Senpai shows up the car coin she had just mentioned. What color does this look to you? Uh... I'm not asking you, Yatsubakun. I'm asking this. Red, miss. Huh? Red? Red, right? Yes, red. Yatsubakun, what color does this coin look to you? Eh, hey, Yatsubakun? Well, let's see. Uh, brown? No, not brown, huh? Let's change the question then. Is this coin red? Sorry, Moscow, but I don't think it's red. Is it? Okay. Hima Senpai makes a waving gesture with both her hands around her head. And then there's this example. There once was a study holic bookworm. On one occasion, he read a book about mathematics very passionately and gained a talent for math. On another occasion, he read a book about law very passionately and passed the bar exam. And another occasion, he read a book about swimming passionately. And then... And then... He drowned. He died. He died, yes. Senpai points sharply at my smart tool, at Moscow, and says, She said that this coin is red, right? Indeed. Five descriptions in the Akashic phone and related chemistry books, the general color bronze is described as red. Huh, is that so? Yes, as it was written here. She's right, it's written as red. In short, she has resigned from looking at reality and blindly follows any and all nods written in book form. No, rather, she has no concept of reality from the beginning. Empty theories, a typical AI. I don't want my experiments being interrupted by something like that. Senpai stresses the end of her sentence, making it evident that she is criticizing Moscow. Well, you heard her. I'm sorry, I made a fool of myself. Hey, Miss Senpai, you're acting childish. It's an AI no less. Huh? Huh? Why am I looking like the bad guy here? No, no, it's fine. It's the truth after all. No, no, I've overstepped my boundaries. I'm sorry. Seeing Senpai fall in AI's lead. A surreal sight, indeed. Ahem. <clears throat> Let's get back on track and conduct the experiment. Today's theme is Let's Look at Reality. That's okay, what about you? Has your head swollen so much that you can only think, not act? 
Oh yeah, I wonder. As a matter of fact, I had doubts that it will turn silver. I'm sure if I don't conduct the experiment, don't confirm this, then after I grow up and get asked a question, I'll most likely end up answering, no, it won't turn silver. Now that she mentions it, she has a point. I may be the type that merely thinks and doesn't act. Or maybe I become that type. Since three years ago? No, no. It has to be even further back than that. I can study well enough. However, in my case, I feel as though it's a matter of me just reciting secondhand info like I've seen it before. In the past, I used to love researching that kind of stuff. Even though I call myself capable, I pale in comparison to Hima Senpai. Senpai not only is the head of the class, but has enough extraordinary literary ability to actually be conflicted as to which field she should continue in science or humanities. The fact that Senpai is able to keep doing as she pleases in this room that's taken the marker of Spearman Club simply due to school putting their faith in her. Why are you so smart, Senpai? Are you asking me if I study? Yes. Right, well at one point I studied in the hope of becoming a doctor. Oh wow. But I quit right before I was able to get the qualifications. I have noticed you know a lot about humanities too. Maybe I just got cold feet. You're capable in both, right? Yeah, but I'm not at all smart. Huh? Not at all. Don't just think about it. Actually act on it. I see. Those words might actually be perfect for me at this time. Big dreams. And a cramped room. Why is the character of her dream written with a grass crown radical? I've done enough adventuring for a lifetime and seen enough dreams to last more or less the same. It was three years ago. Those events. Huh? Acting nonchalant. Hey, you. Can't even do multiplication? Sulks. What the hell? Are you kidding me? We're just finishing up calculus and integrals, and you don't even know how your time tables? Come on! Let's check then. Can you add? Nods. How about subtraction? Not multiplication. Shakes head. And division. Looking like she wants to go home. I give, I give. This is out of control. Looks disapproving. For one thing, multiplication and division aren't a matter of being smart or dumb, it's a matter of individual effort. Looks depressed. You reap what you sow, right? I'm going home. The first one to crack under the heavy pressure in the air. Can you blame me? She don't want to speak at all. I have no idea how to close the distance with her. Yatsuba. As I'm on the verge of leaving Community Center Library, I think I hear that sound. I turn around. And I think that she is looking at me but I leave the area.
You look depressed. Shut up. I turned off its power. Why is it that I feel bad here? Maybe I should go to Hadi's. It might be a little early though. I might wear out my welcome if I appear to be too eager. Let's try practicing the violin. Nowadays I'm finally at the point where I can make the instrument practically sing with ease. I want to get better. Classical music captivates my soul. And that's music created centuries ago. It tickles my fancy and my ears just as well. Even to this date. I'm especially fond of Bach and Tchaikovsky. Marzar is too bright. Chopin's no good either. I like his compositions, but he's all piano. I wonder if I can be a violinist. I want to get better and better. Maybe go to music school and perform lots of different compositions. My dream is to be a concert master in some kind of orchestra. That's my dream. Something like that. I'm not a pessimist by any means, but I can at least distinguish between dreams and reality. I mean, you know, I could stick my hand in the canal and hear plenty of talented people play the violin. I don't seem to have the natural born talent or the work ethic. I gently place the violin back in its case so as to not scratch it. Oh, you're back! Her scent filling the room unravels any tension in me. I came pretty early today. Huh? Did you? Did you? Yesterday I left the clock here for you, didn't I? See? Mm. Don't tell me you can't read a clock. <laughs> no can read it, but... Then why can't you... Ah... Uh, could it be that you... Can't see anything? Is that why you can only see what I see? <laughs> Bingo... I tried closing my gate. Hey, how do I verbally call out to her with my gate closed, try poking at her forehead a little. No response at all. I open my gate again. Ah, Yatsuba, I wondered where you went out to. Don't you suddenly decide to go home? I got it. Her five senses are dead. She can only link to the world through telepathy. I look si outside through the window. Can you see? I open my eyes wide to give her the clearest picture I can. I can see. Kind of high up. Trees. Sky. Sun. That's the outside. Outside. So you've never even seen my face. Yeah. If I were to look at your face, what would happen? Don't do that. I'm bashful. Did me think that you're pretty good out of the bag too? Way out.
That's a problem. Whenever I come to Hardy's room, it always feels like my chest tightens up. Sometimes oppressively so. My present from yesterday might not have been that useful. As I thought, she wasn't able to hold the onigiri in her hand either. Oh, the onigiri was delicious. Uh, maybe that was the wrong thing to say. It tasted like a lot of love and care went into it. But now, I've already lost the exact taste. I pick up the onigiri. It's that moisture and dry. I see. So she was able to read my feelings through the moisture of the onigiri or something like that. Is that it? I'm not very sure. Perhaps, I think you can pick up info on the same principle as the canals. It probably wasn't very delicious at all. It was delicious. <laughs> I'd like to let an AI hear that one. This girl doesn't need food. Probably never had to. She's most likely not human. At first, I thought she was some kind of ghost. Now, not so much. If that were true, Harvey's body would be some sort of medium to spirits. But that's a tad far-fetched. Haru holds decent conversations with me and she's storing new memories. It's not normal. It's bizarre. That said, I don't let it get to me. If I did, it should probably crack and break down. Looks at me. It's morning. When I entered the classroom, she was looking at me with a cold expression. What? She got a complaint? If you got something to say, say it. That's what I want to say. There's no way it'll reach her by just thinking it. Either by she or me. Yatsuba, morning! Yeah, right, yeah. Morning! Yeah. Morning. What? Shut up already. I'm saying good morning to you, so reply back. Shut up, dummy. I give him a chopper on the medulla up in Gata. Ow. Thanks to him. Thanks to him, I'm able to get away from Shion. What am I doing? Yatsuba, did you bring a lunch? Lunch time. And I exit the classroom. Ever since the incident with talking to Shion the day before yesterday, it's hard to be in the classroom. Mainly because of me getting weird looks from the class and tensions being high between Shu and me. Let's go to the music room. I want to be there during lunch. Okay. This one I have a weird feeling I sense someone. Or rather, smell someone. An aroma rich with the sweetness of vanilla. Looks like, yeah, I followed you. She's following us? Huh? Hey, Yatsuba, this girl with you? Should I see reacting to her too? Being bashful. Uh, come on. You're following us, Shion? Nuts. I'm Shiraishi. Nice to meet, nice to meet you, Shion san. Conflicted. Uh, this one doesn't speak. Ah, oh, really? Hey, Shion, at least introduce yourself. Nice 
nice to meet you. Oh. Like I said. You really don't talk, do you? Smiling. Oh, she's smiling again. In any case, I'm glad that awkward tension is gone. Just as I thought. Not a soul in the music room. If we take this room right now, at the beginning of the new semester, then I'm positive no other students will come by dropping by. We can have it to ourselves. The wide room is surrounded by a soundproof walls and it's a particular odor. How did you guys get to know each other? Huh? Oh. Right. Saying you tell him. Since this one can't really study well, I'm going to teach her here. Ah, makes sense. Nods. So she can't even do multiplication. Really? But... Oh, she spoke again. I can see my name, my times tables. Before I can confirm what she says, she takes a big breath and begins reciting the mathematical mantra. 1 times 1 equals 1. 1 times 2 equals 2. 1 times 3 equals 3. 1 times 4 equals 4. 1 times 5 equals 5. 1 times 6 equals 6. 1 times 7 equals 7. 1 times 8 equals 8. 1 times 9 equals 9. 2 times 1 is equals 2. 2 times 2 equals 4. 2 times 3 equals 6. 2 times 4 equals 8. 2 times 5 equals 10. 2 times 6 equals 12. 2 times 7 equals 14. 2 times 8 equals 16. 2 times 9 equals 18. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times 6 is 18. 3 times 7 is 21. 3 times 8 equals 24. 3 times 9 is 27. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times 6 is 24. 4 times 7 is 28. 4 times 8 is 32. 4 times 9 is 36. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 3 is 15. 5 times 4 is 20. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 6 is 30. 5 times 7 is 35. 5 times 8 equals 40. 5 times 9 is 45. 6 times 1 is 6. How long will this go? Let's see. Oh, it is the whole damn table. Nine times nine is eighty-one. Perfect. What the heck? You could do it. But sometimes six is forty-two, isn't it? Huh? You made a mistake. Plain dumb. Still skipping the smallest of your capable of multiplication. Shake said. Huh? What do you mean? No, my times table is not multiplication. Here's what's going on. According to her, she doesn't know what kind of operation multiplication functions as. So even though she can memorize and recite her times tables, there's resistance to applying that concept to the real world. Just like she can remember them formally, but can't wrap her head around the concept, rendering them useless. 2 times 3 is adding up 3 twos. That's reasonable. Oh. Uh, square root? Huh? Oh, I forgot. Oh, it's been a while. I'm an English major. Oh, uh, square root of 2 times square root 3. What's that square root? I forgot. Oh. Uh. 
I, I, I don't know, man. How many is that? I don't understand. That's more square roots than multiplication. Oh, okay, I was right. But... Huh? That's why... Square roots... Feeling of resignation. You've given up on saying it? Here's what's going on. When you get to times tables, you can get away comparing it to real life situations. Like having three apples at 200 yen apiece means it costs 600 yen altogether. You won't be able to explain square root multiplications the same way. So then, what is multiplication in the first place? Perhaps if the point of multiplication goes clear over your head, then you won't be able to understand multiplying square roots, correct? She doesn't seem to be able to find an answer to that question yet. Okay, stop thinking about what's difficult. Just focus on calculating what's in front of you. Face says why. If you keep thinking about that stuff, you'll never get good grades on your tests. Do people who understand the full get good grades? No, people who can answer the questions on the test get good grades. Unsatisfied. Then, why do we study? Do you want a reason to study? Not. Can't even multiply with our reason? Slowly nods head. In that case... <laughs> she and San multiplications is like a song we all sing. Shalai Shi, who had been quiet for a while now, suddenly takes a seat at the grand piano. You don't need a reason or a point to a melody. I'm not familiar with this song at all. It's a performance that's mechanical and devoid of human touch. It's stark contrast to the expressive lyrics, but it shares similarities with the beat of math. Entranced. Wow. <laughs> Thanks. Impressed. I'm giving you kudos, Shion. Well done. Eh? Is this enough reason for studying? Deliberating. Right, right! I'll give you kudos too. Smiles. Disapprove. I'm satisfied. Two times three is... Huh? Six. Eight times five. Forty. What's the sun change? Raise me. So amazing! Wow, incredible, Xian. Woo! -hoo. Right. Amazing. You're incredible, Xian. You minx. Knew your times tables from the start. In any case, she moves along until she's able to do multiplication, division, and even arithmetical restorations. It really was unsettling. Really, really unsettling. Wow, that's so unsettling. It was the first time I've seen a face like that. Huh. 
I see. An important person, I see. No, no, nah, that's not it. No? No. Um... Her name is Shion. Shion. That's the same as my last name. There are a lot of people in the world with the same name. I see. Say, so, how do you can multiply, right? Multiply. Is that again? Don't tell me you can't multiply either. Wait, maybe I can remember it. Back when I asked her name, you said the same thing. You said, I can't remember. I know the word multiply, but I can't remember it itself. What do you mean? There's no words around multiply to explain multiply. It's all jumbled up. By jumbled, do you mean your memories? I have to start now. Back when I talked to you for the first time, my words were all jumbled up, weren't they? If that's the case, then how are you talking to me right now? I managed to sort out my memories. Talking with you made me remember how to string together words. So, is Harvey saying that her vocabulary is all scattered in her brain? She's not forming the right sentences. In which case, does that mean that her memories are all jumbled up in order? That's almost like a book with all the pages out of order then. Oh, you're amazing, Yatsuba. That's a really good analogy. If the book is out of order, can't understand the contents just by reading a page. We have no idea as to why they're saying these here. And no idea as to where a sentence leads after here. All you know is you're here, that's not enough to get much of anything. Be nice if we could sort them out together. Is that really okay? It would. This girl is definitely no human being. However, that's about as inconsequential, inconsequential as the reason why multiplication is multiplication. I stopped thinking. On this day, I abandoned my view on reality. <laughs>